So what is chaos theory? Chaos theory is unpredictable course of events that happen. This relates to like everyday life, um, catastrophes, tragedies, or something great even happening. It's just something that is not predicted. And then this also is really similar to a theory called butterfly effect. With butterfly effect, basically the theory is that there is all these small events that lead up to the one big event that happens. It could be something as small as like a breakup, someone you're dating for a couple weeks. How did you end up there? There's like a succession of events that got you there. Little, little things over time. It's not just one big thing. With the movie Butterfly Effect with Ashton Kutcher, it kind of centered around his relationship that kept falling apart and he always wondered where it went wrong. So he kept going back into his past and he would change like one little thing and he realized that it really threw everything off the course. We as humans have these control issues. We feel like we have to control everything that happens in life. Like we, if we control it, we know what's gonna happen next. Then we feel like this comfort, this safety. We have this desire to comprehend what's happening in the world, like what it all means. When it comes to like tragic events, if we know like what caused them, it puts us more at ease rather than not knowing. And that relates back to us feeling that we need to control something. When we discover like where the small repetitions in something takes place, this helps us develop like a more long-term model of events that are gonna happen like with the natural disasters or extreme weather or um, an economy, you know. Of course, there's like math equations for that to break down, you know, or stats from the past of what worked, what hasn't, where we stand now as, you know, a country or whatever level that you're trying to predict at. Chaos theory is a science that tries to predict the unpredictable. A lot of times there's like a margin of error that changes what was predicted for that event. Like for example, um, a tornado, you know, they said the storms were pretty bad, but it wasn't gonna land, you know, whatever. It wasn't gonna touch the ground and it's dissipating. And then all of a sudden, you know, winds shift from the north or something similar to that. And 30 seconds later, you have like an F5 tornado Science up until this point was aimed to eliminate uncertainty. Its purpose was to explain the behavior of ev everything with like logic and data. Chaotic things happen around us daily that we don't even notice. Us moves in like astronomy, thermodynamics, psychology, biology, in almost every aspect. When it comes to psychology, there could be something such as a misfire of a neurotransmitter in the brain that leads to a drastic change in behavior. Something that wasn't predicted, completely off the course of events of what you thought would happen. You know, that person's baseline behavior had been the same all along until that one event that happened that couldn't be predicted. And then after psychology, you're getting into psychiatry, you know, when it involves medicines and the way that the doctors think that it's going to affect a person because they've done studies and research and seen, you know, con control groups that all responded to this way, like 99%, you know, and then that one person, it just had a complete opposite effect. There's been medicines that have had to relabel and put suicide warnings. The predictable allows us to leave home without fear. It allows us to create our lives and the future with confidence. So, you're leaving for work, you're driving to work, you're avoiding, you know, any chaotic situation. You're, I mean, you might still be like a really shitty driver or whatnot, but you're assuming you're getting to work an X amount of time like you always do. And you're planning tomorrow or your weekend full of events, not thinking that this may end in like a tragic accident. You just have to go on thinking that none of that is gonna happen. Otherwise, if you worried about it every time you were in traffic, your life would just be spent worrying and not living. James York, who came up with chaos theory, said that you should at any moment be ready to change your plans. So 
basically have a, a plan B or expect something to go haywire. People that are chronic warriors or have a high anxiety that feel the opposite. They feel nothing's predictable and they panic about it on a daily basis. And because they do that, they think that they're creating all these alternate paths. Like if something does go wrong, when in fact they might be leading closer to like a tragic event or for everything just to blow up. Say you're so in love with somebody, things are going great, you know, you're, you plan on getting married and all of a sudden you find out that they cheated, you know, you're going to break up and now you're completely devastated. This was not predictable. You guys had a really close relationship. You never suspected this from them. So those that are successful in life or have a higher quality of life are those that have that plan B. You know, they're not saying that they have one foot out the door, but they know that this may not work, no matter how great it may seem in the moment. And they have to just live their life for them while they're together with that person, you know, whether it means finishing school, you know, achieving career success, planning vacations, you know, spending time with friends instead of avoiding them just to come home with your significant other. And then those that don't think this bond is to be broken are going to be extremely devastated because they usually write their friends off or choose them second. They maybe drop out of school and let the other person provide or vice versa. And when this happens, it's just all consuming mentally. You need to have a flexible mindset that doesn't react to the unexpected events. We need to approach this through curiosity and acceptance. And we know that great things arise from chaos. You know, an opportunity can pop up. You might lose this job that you did not think you were gonna lose and it's so tragic and whatnot, but that might be the push you need to like move forward and go find your happiness in like another career or maybe take that time off and like go travel the world. You just have to use a different mindset and see it for what it is and just move on. So chaos is said to be the law of nature and order is said to be the dream of man. Therefore, like normative methods of social control applied to crime will fail. So just like scientists trying to predict the weather to know if there's like a big storm or a big weather event gonna happen, psychologists and scientists are trying to apply this to the social sciences and identify what it is that makes someone commit crime and then try to be able to intervene based on that. Some people believe that with like the right tools and concoction of variables, it's possible to predict which individuals will become delinquent. However, it's important to note that a lot of these individuals that would be deemed as high risk do not become criminals. And a portion of those that seem to be low risk do end up becoming criminals. And an environment can never be separated from a system. The theory states that these environmental influences have the potential to be amplified over time so that individuals with similar predispositions to crime can have different outcomes. Two siblings from the same environment and same developmental background can turn out to go down to two completely different trajectories.